Hi everyone, today we are here at Moloko, which is their office. Today we have them to talk about business analytics, a little bit about business analytics versus computer science. And just to let you guys know the difference between the two majors, yeah, do you guys want to like introduce yourself? I'm Kwai An, year 3 business analytic, currently doing an NOC program in Silicon Valley. And I'm Nita, same thing as Kwai An, we're both business analytics students, and we actually met in year 2 in a module. Yeah, so I've actually prepared some questions for them to answer. The first question is, what is business analytic? And what is it to you guys in your own words? I think business analytic is, a lot of people ask me like, what's the difference between business analytic and data science? And in a sense, they are quite different because business analytic is using business data to solve business problem. But data science is using statistics, algorithms to process data. Yeah, in a sense that it's quite different. And business analytic is under computer school, but data science is under school of science. School of science, right? Yeah. But actually business analytics is the Bachelor of Science still, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We still get a Bachelor of Science. Yeah. I think it spans across many different faculties. So we have a lot of modules. We have to do like econs modules, we have to do business modules, we have math modules, statistics modules. It encompasses a lot more. You are exposed to a very broad range of uh, subjects in business analytics. So you're not constrained to just doing data analysis, data science. Okay, so on to the next question. What are some of the job scope of a business analytic? Well, you can be a data science for sure. Yeah, I mean, just data scientists, I mean, we're we both are data scientists. So can you describe like what's a data scientist like? Because I mean, for people who are watching this, they probably don't know the specific details. Sure, I think a lot of people like think business analysts, data analysts, data scientists, they can all be categorized together, but actually the job scope is quite different. Data science is very, very geared towards uh, statistics. So you're using a lot of analysis to conduct your daily like work, but for like data analysts, you're using the data, you're cleaning the data, and then you're kind of building visualizations to kind of check out the trends. I would say it's a little bit lower level compared to data science. I think business analysts, we have more direct impact to business because mm. like what we have been doing in our company Moloko is that our findings will directly impact whether we will continue working with the client because we are working on performance data and if the performance data is not satisfactory most likely that the client will not be able to continue working with us so how do we convince them to continue working with us using the business data is that we have to convince them that oh the, the problem occurs because of this because of that and we can solve them in the future so yeah I think business analyst is not just looking at data but you have to think about it's a business side of yeah there's a business side of it yeah. uh, maybe I can just talk a little bit about computer science so computer science is a very broad major you know it can you can go into a lot of focus. You can go into streamlining processes, you can go into automation, cyber security even. There's also even gaming and all these are very broad scope of the entire computer science. But in, in this sense, I think business analytics is a lot more focused. I would say computer science is definitely more broad in terms of what you're learning. But there are overlaps between what like foundational things we both learn. Like I mean, programming is kind of like the bedrock of any sort of uh, technical role. You definitely need to have some sort of programming ability. So the next question is, what are some of the similarities and differences between business analytics and computer science? So we'll go through a little bit about the modules and also, I guess, job scope. So what the school does very well is that everyone has to take foundational computer science mods. Obviously, computer science uh, degree holders will have to take more computer science mods. And like for us business analysts, we take a few computer science mods which are more, which are foundational, but there are also mods which are specifically catered towards data analysis. So in that sense, we, we do take mods in learning SQL, we take mods uh, in learning R as well. And these languages are definitely more towards the analytical side of things. Yeah, right? analytical side of things. Yeah, so actually I recall that when in our first year, right, we actually do modules that help build up our knowledge about just purely coding. And mm -hmm. that involves, I think for you guys, CS 1010X, right? That's S. S. Yeah. S. And that's Python, is it? Yeah, Python. Python. Yeah, but for us, it's 1101, which focus on JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And that can already, you can see, like, that's the difference. Because if I'm not wrong, Python is a language used for analysis. Mm -hmm. But JavaScript is more for web development. I think the primary languages we use for analysis are probably R and Python, right? R and Python, yeah. yeah. But I, I would say more of Python than R. Yeah, and overall for the modules, we also focus a lot on very similar kind of theories such as um, object-oriented programming. And we learn about, and I guess in the beginning, data types, variables, and all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. We have a module called CS2103, which focuses on working as a team, a software engineering team, and use Scrum and these kind of things. I don't know if you we, guys... We, we have a very similar module. 
teach you one or three. Yeah, it's a compulsory mod. So if you like, you want to do software engineering in business and analytics, that's probably the best mod that you can do. Cause you are yeah, you come across Scrum, you come across Kit, you come across working in a group. Uh, because you are eventually you want to build a website, so mm. that's the closest experience to a software engineering we can ever have. I guess those are similarities which which we have that you would definitely pick up some sort of foundational programming skills, and then after mm -hmm. after the first year, maybe in the second year, that's when the paths start to diverge. So can you guys go into some like details about like specific business analytic modules? So I guess in in year one we did BT one one oh one. That was like intro to business analytics, and mm -hmm. it's just an introduction to what type of variables you'll come across in your data frame, how to use R to process your data, mm -hmm. like some key aggregation methods which you need to use to, to kind of like categorize your data even further and make it easier, I guess, in that sense. Yeah, it was just a lot of data processing and a lot of statistics, test, you know, t-test, yeah. ANOVA test. The next mod that we did, which is entirely related to business analytics, has to be BT2101. Oh yeah, so you use optimization methods to make decisions like how you allocate resources, mm -hmm. yeah, how you are given that there's limited resource mm -hmm. and um, how do you maximize the profit, that kind of thing. I think we also look into building our own like uh, machine learning models. So we were exposed to support vector machines, random forests, neural networks. There's also, I think one very important concept uh, about feature selection. So you have to understand which features make sense to be included in your model to ensure that your prediction accuracy is high. But even then you could you could overfit your data, which means that your prediction is good for like this data set, but it might not be good for another data set that's different. So always when you're building some models, what you want to do is ensure high accuracy for all the all the testing that you do. And a lot of people fall into the trap of overfitting their data. That's one thing that we learn, I guess. That's basic machine learning, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So so just to let you guys know, right? Computer science actually you can go into that as well, but it is not compulsory like for them. It's purely optional, and you can go step by step. You can go intro to machine learning and then slowly advance from there. But well, I would say the most difficult mods we had to do are probably the CS mods, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CS, CS mods were the most challenging mods that we had to go through uh, during our curriculum. But on the business analytics mods, uh, my experience is that some of them were a bit unstructured. The difficulty is in finding the structure yourself. So this next portion, we'll talk about some of the specialization that business analytics offers. So usually business analytics, you guys specialize after year two, right? Mm, yeah, I think we can declare. Yeah, we can. We can declare early. Just like computer science. Uh. So you yeah. want to name some like specializations that you guys have? We, we only have two. We only have two. We were just looking at it just now, but we, oh, we right. basically only have a uh, finance spec or marketing spec, there's still some overlap between the modules that you have to do to kind of get each specialization. Well, I think there are overlaps in terms that in terms of gathering data. Yeah, that's one thing that, that overlaps. Finance and marketing, they are, to be honest, they are very different from, from the very beginning. Finance is more like dealing with, of course, the financial market, the financial products, the risk analytics, the fraud analytics, and the blockchain. And marketing is more with like dealing with search optimization, mm -hmm. dealing with data mining. So there's one social media network analysis as well. Yeah, they, they are very, very different, I guess, because I think finance is catered more towards like quantitative finance. So maybe like building algorithms to trade, learning about different type of uh, risk and fraud type of things. So you guys want to talk a bit about your day to day. By the way, right now we are at their office, so maybe you can take a tour around later. <laughs> I, I, we might have to check with them if that's possible. I heard this from my senior in the company that to become a very good data scientist, you not just have to know about data science, you have to know about like software engineering. So if you work as a data scientist, you will eventually get in touch with software engineering. Currently, day-to-day -day work, um, I deal with a lot of automation, a lot of, of Python, basically efficiency, speeding up the processes. And, and removing like repetitive, mundane type of tasks. Because a lot of times, like especially for us when you're working in a startup, in a, in a smaller environment, when you have a smaller team, right, you're wasting a lot of time and resources by doing the same thing over and over again. So it's very important for us to optimize those processes to make it more efficient so that we can spend time on more important projects. So I agree with him when he says like we have a lot of optimization, a lot of automation that we need to complete here. There's also the point on being a good business communicator because I think especially for a data scientist, when you conduct all your statistics tests, you, you do generate insights, but those are insights which maybe you as a technical person can understand, but 
not necessarily a, a non-technical person so you have to kind of find a way to communicate that insight to someone effectively for them to understand what is going on okay and i guess we can go into the last point which is you know tips for juniors this part i just wanted to let you guys know that if you are in computer science and maybe for the first year or second year and then you feel like it doesn't mm -hmm. fit you can actually opt to transfer majors into business analytics yeah. i'm not sure if it works the other way around I, I do have some friends oh really yeah from year one they switch from i think year one sem two after year one sem two they switch from business analytics to computer science mm. yeah so it's, it's possible to switch around so you don't have to be pressured um, into yeah. choosing one one thing i can say for sure is that um, if you're studying computer science right there is the complete possibility for you to just venture into data analysis into data science because a lot of things that you learn in cs will overlap with business analytics but the same cannot be said for the other way i find that if you want to go into software engineering with our background it makes it a lot harder because we miss out on a lot of technical things in school but we do pick up another aspect of like business analysis so like it's a give and take and it, and it really depends on what you're interested in i think business analytics is uh, good for people who are interested in programming but not planning to specialize in it I Basically, it's a lighter version of CS now, in, in terms of programming. If you don't like the technical side of things, of like software engineering, and you prefer to have a more front-facing role where you can communicate with uh, different stakeholders, then business analytics might be for you because you get to communicate all the insights that you find. Or if you like to investigate things, if problem solving is something that you really, really enjoy, because I enjoyed math in secondary school, so there's a lot of problem solving. So naturally, I was more inclined towards uh, business analytics because it's investigation, problem solving. So I guess we can wrap this up. Sure. Um, thank you guys for your time. Mm -hmm. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to catch my next video. Bye.